Seconds late. I'll examine it, I'll observe it for color, mm -hmm. the shape, and the size. If there is any skin deep in the breast, you know dimples. Then you have to come up for chicks. You don't know? So, uh, not your dimples, but your breasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it anywhere. Quite, anywhere. Oh. So, if you want your dimple, that depression, it means there is a lump. Maybe in your breast that is causing that. You found out that uh, one breast is yeah. extremely like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not normal. It's not? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not normal, but usually. But okay, for me, eh? let me tell you. For ladies, for ladies, one breast is not the right color. But the light will have to keep it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you'll, you'll, you will know yeah. if it's bad. Even you yourself will know. So if you abstain from early sex, you can actually prevent. I, I usually hear this myth that when you kinyonya matiti deo, it's false. It's a myth. It's just a myth. Yeah. <laughs> just as I've said, we haven't the myth. we haven't proven it yet. So <laughs> but, but, but it's true. Like uh, the mothers who have already breastfeeded, mm. chances of getting. Uh, Lower compared to those who have not. No. So there's no prevention. Like, but some are genetic. Like, yeah, by the cancer. way. Yeah. So you will inherit it from them. There's no cancer. way you can prevent. No. Whichever type. Whichever type. And you know, maybe, yeah, yeah, I have a cancer of the skin. We will keep the data to in a different place. It doesn't mean that I'm going to have a skin. I will have a skin. You can have chromosomes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the 
much, much, much later. Um, hi, my name is Mwenda Motiso. I'm 27 years old and I have breast cancer stage 4. I'm a two-time breast cancer survivor. So the first time I was at 23 and I had stage 0. And unfortunately, last year in November, I got a recurrence which was stage 4 breast cancer. So today I'm here because I brought my family, my sister, my cousin and my mom to be checked. Because um, first of all I, I know that early detection saves lives and this is a good opportunity to take advantage of all these free breast screenings to just come and you know get checked. So I was invited here by Penda, the founder of Kinele Challenge, whereby actually I'm going to climb Mount Kenya next year. <laughs> but yeah, so she invited me and I decided to come with family. And actually two of my colleagues also came in the morning that just informed me. So I think everybody out there should make a point to go and get screened, whether you're young or old. Breast cancer is not only for the old. As I had mentioned before, I got breast cancer at 23 without any history of breast cancer or any any uh, type of cancer in our family. So I think it's good to get straight and to be aware of your body. Just ensure that you know how your body is so that if there's anything which is suspicious, you're able to detect it in good time and go to a clinic or a hospital to have it checked. So I'm here to just say that there is hope after a diagnosis. You don't have to lose hope even if you get diagnosed. And also, having a lump in your breast doesn't mean it's breast cancer because most of the lumps are not cancerous. So I would advise anybody out there to get tested, not only the girl, the women, but also the men since men can also get breast cancer. Am I the only person who loves the views? Like, I really love nature in our country. And I really enjoy sitting. I'll show you this stone. To come to this stone, take pictures, and like every time we come here, I loved sitting here. I still love. My legs over here breastfeeding. Alia. <laughs> Alia. Say hi. Kebuli, what's your? Shika. 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 They are like uh, two mosquito things. They are two, two tiny fly things. Where is she going? They are two fly things that are really irritating her. Oh, you want a flower? Yes. They're really, really irritating. Sorry. You want flower? Huh? Purple. What? 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 Uh oh. Wow, that's not wow. I can't. <laughs> Okay. 
Where are you taking me? Huh? Yeah, ni ni ni. Huh? Hello. Wow. Mama. <laughs> it's our second last day here. It's windy. We only have this left, which we're going to do tomorrow before I leave. Yeah, some are already green. Yana nini mama? Nini? What's the She's really, really loving it. <laughs> She's really loving it here. There's a vlog that we did with her bee. He was planting this part here. It's always the last part to be planted. I don't know why. But, yeah. So we'll be done and we go back home. Then we'll have plenty of time to waste before the bee comes back. <laughs> Can you guys hear her panting? You're such a cartoon, Wewe. Bebe! Wow. Flower. Uta dungwa. No no no, ni ni sumeta kai. Nakpanguze yo maziwa. Smart. Ana kula mapera mbichi. Ana tema na taka ingine. Ana tema na taka ingine. Ana na ni kama ni mpe ilemba ya. Twenty four hours later. The next day. So we've now started off. It's the next day. Say good morning. No, it's afternoon. It rained so heavily yesterday. And we are enter we're coming to plant right now. Butterfly, Mama. We're coming to plant right now, then we'll leave at around three four. Our shagu is not so far from home. So it's always okay if we leave let's what you doing here say hi oh i know you wanted to eat that i know you wanted to eat that I was thinking like uh, when I was doing this it looks like I've never seen anyone on social media planting am I the only one who enjoys this or am I weird <laughs> when I grow older I think I'm going to be a full-time farmer she's 
she's seriously eating mud. And I keep throwing that away, then she's picking up again. Dang, you're not getting off my back again. 